Hi, I'm the Overall Nerd, and today I want to speak about the latest addition to the Power Rangers universe, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always. Now, I didn't grow up in this era of Power Rangers. My Power Ranger run was from Wild Horse to Jungle Fury, which contains some of the best seasons in my opinion. But of course, as our name states, we are the Overall Nerds. So of course, I've seen the 90s era of Power Rangers and love the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So when I heard that there was going to be a reunion, of course I was excited. Then again, I was excited for Legendary Ranger Battle Mega Force, and we all saw how that turned out. But we won't get into that. Power Rangers has come a very long way since then, and although I haven't seen all of them, I've heard the recent seasons haven't been too bad, and have really been playing into the idea of all of this being a single universe, despite so many seasons failing to acknowledge Power Rangers even being a thing, even though at this point their existence should be just common knowledge. <laughs> I digress. Back to this Netflix reunion, I think it looks really fun. They haven't gone all flashy, it actually looks like a modern day episode of Power Rangers and I like that simplistic edge. Although I am confused as to the continuity of this show. It seems like it takes place in the modern day Power Rangers universe. We even see Space Control Academy, which lines up with SPD taking place in 2025, and we even see references to Dino Thunder. But we know that the power coins were destroyed and were actually are too dangerous to use. But perhaps the most baffling thing about this reunion is the return of Rita Repulsa. Now, Power Ranger fans know that Rita was redeemed by Zordon's energy wave at the end of Power Rangers in Space, and hardcore fans will know that this very same Rita became the Mystic Mother in Power Rangers Mystic Force. So who is this? This can't be our Rita. And yes, I know Lord Zed has returned, but it has been stated that Lord Zed was taken out of time from before the Z-Wave. Well, we think we know who this new Rita is. As we've seen before in Power Rangers, death isn't always the end, especially if it comes through non-conventional means. We see Kendrick come back to life at the end of Lost Galaxy, despite officially being dead. And yes, I know the unfortunate circumstances behind the scenes, but I'm taking this from an in-universe perspective. So via the same logic, we can assume that the evil part of Rita that was destroyed never truly died, but was sentient. Kind of like Voldemort in the High Potter series, even less than a ghost. If we pay attention to what Rita says, finally, I have a new body, then it becomes obvious that this evil spirit has just been waiting all this time for a vessel to possess. Now, who built this body? I don't know. Could it have been the Machine Empire? Could it have been Finster? It could have been anyone. Maybe someone's behind the whole scenes. Maybe someone is playing everyone for a fool. We don't know. This is a thing, right? And when it comes to Power Rangers, it's always been a bit weird, especially with continuity. Rita has returned. Yes, that's cool. But there has to be something a bit more at play. Otherwise, it's kind of just seeming like another episode of Power Rangers Mighty Morphin. Which I guess is cool. But don't we want something a bit more? Don't we need something a bit more grand? I mean, you're getting together these rangers who haven't been on screen together since, what, the 90s? I just think there's so much potential. And we haven't even spoken about how they're going to treat Tommy Oliver's character, you know, with the late passing of Jason David Frank. And obviously we do know how they're going to treat Trini. And I think it's nice that we're getting, I guess, a close to her story. And as long as they do it in a respective manner, that's all I would ever want. I think this has the possibility to be one of the coolest Power Ranger episodes we've ever seen. I just hope it's in the right hands, as I've seen Power Ranger episodes go so long before. <sighs> Let's just hope it's good. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you will notice this is our first ever Power Rangers video we've ever done. Um, obviously we're the local nerds, we do everything, and Power Rangers is not going to be excluded from that. I'm a massive Power Rangers fan as I said before, and if you want more Power Rangers content, like and subscribe. We are the Oval Nerds. Peace.